Hello everyone. Today I'm going to teach you how to find out if any of your images are being used on the web without your permission. The tool we use for this is called SRC IMG and you can find it at this address jared.github.io slash SRC dash IMG. There are several other similar pieces of software around the web but we like this one. Why? Well, for two reasons. The first, it's totally free. Second, unlike other image search tools, this one uses Google Image Search as its search engine. Why is this important? Well, Google is the largest database of images on the web, so you are more likely to find unauthorized images using Google's Image Search than you would from a secondary proprietary search but more importantly, Google Image Search is very good at finding images because it actually looks at what the image looks like and uses the image itself to look for other images. Okay, so this is really easy to use. The software is called the bookmarklet. Now you see this area in your browser, it's called the bookmarks bar. All you do is drag this up into the bookmark bar. We'll make a space for it. And there it is. You can change the name if you want, but you can leave it as SRC IMG. Simple. Now, here's how it works. I'm going to go to a stock photo site to use as an example. This site is 123RF. So let's just look at the front page. We see a lot of images here. You click on the bookmarklet, and it puts a question mark in front of every image it sees on the page. All you need to do then is click on an image that you want to search for. And in another window, Google Image Search will bring up a page with all of the web addresses where this image can be found. So you can see here, 123RF, another site called Dreams Time, Think stock photos, and you can keep going to the next page and the next page for as many pages as are using this image. You see here, it's found in several places where it's included in another image. Okay, that's all for now. If you have any questions, just contact through our contact form and we'll get back to you.